Hi, I am Kedger on two wheels and I've just put about three liters of diesel on my bike. <laughs> So this is going to be quite interesting. Let's see if she starts. Well, so far so good, but I do have a whole line of gasoline in the fuel line. So I guess I'd better get going instead of idling until it starts burning the wrong fuel. Let's mix up the fuels a bit. Okay. Fuel's mixed, I hope. Oh god, this is going to be horrible. It's either going to simply stop or it's going to... Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. As the, has this ever happened to any of you? I think what I'm going to do, and this is... I did a very quick Google search for this, is it's going to smoke like a maniac. It's going to run horribly. And I should keep topping up with gasoline to keep diluting the diesel until it's no more diesel in the system. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a very funny trip now. Then again... Yeah, hear the sound? Yeah, there's diesel already in the system, because when I accelerate you can hear the noise. The noise is very different. Yeah. Power? What power? <laughs> oh god, it's running like horribly wrong. And it's taking ages to accelerate, look! Oh god. What have I done to you, baby? I'm so sorry, Lotsotki. I am so sorry. What have I done to you? It's, <laughs> it sounds horrible. It sounds like a tractor. uphill what I think is happening and I'm just uh, hypothesizing is that since the diesel is not being ignited because it's not hot enough so diesel is not firing up so diesel is literally going out my exhaust pipe uh, pure so this sound I'm hearing is probably the diesel firing after it left so it's kind of like a diesel backfire so that's why it sounds this weird because it does sound like a really low uh, backfire that instead of pop goes a bit like whoosh so that's my theory I hope I'm not coating the inside of my exhaust with diesel and then catches fire <laughs> and I'll have a burning exhaust that would be horrible oh another uphill oh great Oh, and the engine is a bit unsteady because sometimes it fires up well. For example, I roll on throttle, nothing happens, it sounds horrible. Nothing, nothing, then every now and then there's a little jerk of acceleration. <laughs> and I guess both cylinders get to, to explode correctly. Oh God, what have I done to you, my baby? You are sick, don't worry, it'll be only a sniffle. You'll push past it, you can do it. So how did this happen to me? Simple. Tired. I got off work at lunchtime to go home, to have lunch at home, and I was a bit 
in a rush and I've been rushing through work all morning long like a maniac so I'm really tired go on lady so being tired plus in a rush plus distracted because I was thinking of what was I thinking about I was thinking about something else oh I was thinking about my switching the visors and so I just went on to autopilot and I put diesel in which my main car uses diesel so that's why frack so it's been standing here for four hours let's see how it runs on diesel and gasoline seems to be okay cool whoops Oi, oi, no, don't die, no. Ah. No, no, stay alive, stay, stay with me, stay with me. Come on. Shit. Stay alive, stay alive! Seems like it runs okay as long as it's warm. When it's cold, well, then it doesn't really work well. But as long as it's under loads, that's cool. Just have to give it a bit of throttle.